hello friends welcome back guys in this video i will explain how to read or parse an xml file in java we'll use the inbuilt dom parser to process parse or read the xml file all right guys so that being said let's begin the video all right guys before we jump to the coding section i just want to explain the components or what are the elements an xml file can have okay so i have already put the color coding here but still explain guys the very first take is known as the root element of the xml file so here company is the root element of my xml file okay guys next component is element node whatever you see in blue text star first name last name nickname salary are known as element nodes okay then we have got text nodes so whatever you see in black color right trishan Barwa, Kabu, and the amount here, right? All these are known as text node. Okay. Then we have got one more component called attribute. So, guys, here ID is an attribute, currency is another attribute. All right, guys. I hope this is clear. Let's move. All right, guys. Now let's talk about the parser. So, basically, we use parser to parse the XML file. Okay. So, DOM parser is inbuilt in Java, it comes with Java itself. Okay. So, basically, you don't have to use any third party library to make use of the DOM parser. Guys, DOM parser is slow and consumes a lot of memory when it reads a large XML document. Why? Because it loads all the nodes into the memory for traversal and manipulation purposes. Okay. We can make use of SX parser to read the large size of XML document. SX parser is faster than DOM and it uses less memory. Okay. Guys, but in this video, we'll talk about the DOM parser only. Alright guys, time for a demo. Guys, I just want to explain the number of steps that we are going to take to write the code. Okay. So first of all, we have to create the instance of document builder factory. Once we have the object of document builder factory, we'll use that object to create the instance of document builder. Okay. Then the object of document builder class will, will be used to parse the XML file. Then we'll write code to read the root element of the XML file. All right. And then we'll fetch the node list, like all the nodes from the XML file. And then we'll iterate through each node to get the node elements and attribute. Okay. I think this is too much theory, guys. I will explain the code. So let me start the ID. All it is, here we are. What I will do, I'll just create a class. Let me just go and call this as read XML file. Okay. Easy. I want to have the main. Guys, very first thing, what we need to have? We want to have a file name of our XML file. Okay, so in C slash XML slash XML is the XML file name that we are going to consume in this program. Okay, so I have declared a variable called file name, which is pointing to the books.xml file. All it is. Now let's go and take a look at the books.xml file. How does our XML look like? Okay, so let me open the books.xml. Guys, here you can see the root element is the catalog. Okay. And then we have got nodes here. So book is the node name. We have got multiple nodes called book. Okay. And then inside each node, there are multiple element nodes like author, title, general, price, publish date, description, and then contact. Okay. And here we have got attributes as well. Attribute ID, which is the attribute of book and attribute type, which is the attribute of contact element node. Okay. So this type can be like email. It can be, it can be phone as well. Okay. Like those kind of things we have. So we'll try to read the book information. So let's go back to the ID guys, as I explained, so to create the instance of document builder factory, document builder factory, right? So what I will do, okay, document builder factory, okay, let's call it factory only equals to how can we create an instance of document builder factory dot new instance. All right, guys. And now guys, we have to create the object of document builder class. Okay, so how can we do that? Document builder. So let's call it builder equals to we'll make use of the factory object, then dot, then new document builder is the function. Now what it says. It says, okay, we have to add a try catch block. So that will do here. Okay. Now next is that we have to parse our XML file. Okay. Parse the XML file. How can we do that? Guys, this builder, right? Builder, it has a function called parse and we have to give the file name. Okay. So new file and I'll pass the file name here. Okay. Let me just go and import this file class. 
so this is from from java.ir.file okay what it says okay so unhandled exception so what i will do add exception to the existing catch block now guys let's see what this guy will return parts will return object of the document type class okay so let's do that document let's call it document only equals to builder dot parts let's go and import the document class from orz dot w3c dot dom okay cool now guys next step was to get the root element okay so how can we fetch the root element so for that what we'll do element let's go and import from element you see guys we have got this element element interface in multiple packages so we have to go and read from orz dot w3c dot dom and then let's call it root element equals to document dot get document element okay guys i just want to print can i just see the root element let's go and verify okay right click run as java application all right guys so what i will do i'll just do one more thing dot get node name okay so the name of root element is catalog let's go and verify which is here okay so we are good all right guys now guys we have to get the node list why guys if you see here because i'm going to fetch all the books like all the nodes where node name is book so we have got multiple right so let's see how can we do that so what i will do guys i will make use of the root element root element dot get there is a function called get element by tag name okay and we have to pass the tag name here so what i will do here right here uh, string tag name equals to say book okay so if i go to our xml file this is my tag name i'm passing book i want to read all the books from the xml file so i'll just pass this tag name here get element by tag name guys if you see the written type of this get element by tag name function is node list okay so what i will do here node list let me just go and import so i'm going to select org dot w3c dot dom okay let's import and then let's call it node list equals to good now guys we have got a node list can we just go and sys out the number of nodes that we have fetched okay node list dot get length okay let me run our program what do i see we have got total number of nodes are 12 okay let's go to our xml file what do you see here guys so book id is book bk 101 102 103 104 okay 108 110 11 and 12 okay so we have got total 12 books so basically we have here 12 nodes and that is what we can see here okay this is cool now guys what is next now we have to iterate through this because i want to get the book information right i want to get the book title or and book author right so what i want to do is we have to iterate through the iterate through the node list okay and get the node element and attribute okay so how can we iterate very simple thing for loop integer i equals to zero i is less than what node list dot get length and then i plus plus simple now guys here because this is a node list right so an element will be a node only so let's go and import node again from org dot w3c dot let's call it node only and then this is going to be node list dot dot node list dot item and i'll pass the index as i okay this is cool so we have got a node see now very first thing we'll check the check the node type if like node dot get there is a function called node type equals to equals to node dot element node once we know that this node is of type element node we have to get the element okay so element import org dot w3c dot dom element element to our node okay this is an element let me just do the type casting okay guys now guys we'll make use of this element to get the rest of other elements like uh, author title general everything and we'll also use same element to read the attribute as well okay so let's go and first read the attribute called id how can we do that so what i will do let me just use string id equals to element dot guys there is a function called get attribute okay and we have to pass the attribute name attribute name is id okay 
can I just do sys out here and then see sys out and then I'll call it id equals to plus id guys let me just go and run our program run a java application and guys what do you see id 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so this is fine very good now next thing guys I want to get the other elements as well let's go with author and title only for now and if you want to read rest of other elements you can follow the same approach okay so let's go and have a look how can we get the value of author and title okay so string let's call it author equals to guys I'm using element dot so I'm going to call a function called get element by tag name okay so tag name is what I want to fetch the author okay then dot you type here item index 0 dot get text content so first of all we have to get the element by tag name index 0 and then get the text value let me just do the sys out same way can we get the book title as well title equals to element dot get element by tag name and tag name is title dot let me just go and get the item item 0 get text content okay let me just do sys out here now guys let's go and run and let's see the output of our java program guys what do you see okay root element was catalog total number of nodes 12 book id 101 book author is this guy and book name is xml developers guide same goes with the next book author is roll scheme and book title is midnight rain okay guys if you want to fetch like general price publish date description or contact you can do same thing okay let me do this for contact as well following the same approach exactly same get element by tag name and i'll pass contact here dot can i just print contact equals to okay let me just run our java program and let's see the output so now we can see the contact is phone number and for some other guys contact is email why if you look at the contact type right if it is email then you have an email id and if it is a phone number then you have a phone number all right now it's how can we fetch that type as well see this contact is giving me the value or email id or the phone number but i also want to fetch the what do you call this type is an attribute for example here id is the attribute similarly type is the attribute i want to fetch this okay let's see how can we do that guys you have to pay attention here because this is little complex not little complex but it is just all about the syntax okay if you know the syntax you can do it easily as you'll just get confused okay so what i want to fetch is a string type okay because it's a part of the context so we'll do same thing dot item zero dot there is a function called get attributes okay and then we have to pass the attribute name okay like which attribute we want to read okay so for that there is a function called get named item okay so here i'll pass type and then again to get the text information we'll do same thing dot get text content semicolon all right this is cool can i just type this out type equals to plus type okay let me run the code and let's see whether our syntax is correct or not so guys what do you see type equals to font type equals to email so basically what i'm trying to say is once you have the node you can use get element by name function to get the value of each element and to read the attribute from the element we have to do get element by tag name item zero means like get the first tag and then get attributes and then we pass the attribute name that we want to fetch guys for a root node we have got directly a function called element dot get attribute okay but for for the element node we have to make use of the get attributes dot get named item and then i hope i am making some sense guys this way you can read the the entire xml file all right guys thank you for watching and please do subscribe channel